Hello and welcome to Herald TV News Bulletin with me, Valentin Diash. Multiple industries within the Konkoli Industrial Development Corporation have been manufacturers of pollution 24 by 7. From toxic fumes to water pollution, nothing is spared. Locals have demanded immediate resolution to the serious issues surrounding the industrial estate. Watch a special investigative package at 4.30 and 8.30 p.m. on Herald TV or anytime on YouTube. Even as the archaeology minister stated that there is no data available, the government has granted extension to the expert committee appointed to scrutinize shrines destroyed during the Portuguese regime. The committee members have opined that they need more time to collect and collate old Portuguese documents along with field study across the state. The expert committee to scrutinize and recommend the sites and shrines allegedly destroyed during the Portuguese rule for restoration has been granted time till December 31st. But it's been close to a year since the Minister of Archives and Archaeology, Subhash Valdesai, informed the Assembly in July 2022 that the list of religious or heritage sites destroyed by the Portuguese is not available with the Department of Archaeology. The director says that the committee shall submit an interim report of the findings from time to time. Bureau Report, Herald TV. Traditional fishermen residing in Kakra along the river Zuari coast whose canoes were gutted in a fire in March this year on Friday alleged that their compensation is being unduly held back by the state fisheries department. They also refuted the alleged comments by the fisheries minister Nilkant Halankar that they deliberately set canoes on fire to fetch money from the government. The affected fishermen under the banner of All Goa Small Scale Responsible Fisheries Union have demanded compensation from the government for the loss they suffered when the canoes were destroyed due to the disastrous storms and fires in the recent past. <laughs> Bureau Report, Herald TV. The dwellers of Smart City Panjim are living in fear and anxiety of flooding this year too. Herald TV asked city dwellers regarding flooding in the city. Who is to be blamed for it and why this problem remains unsolved perennially in the special street voice segment? Listen in to what they had to say. Since 2002, we have the Corporation of City of Panaji Act. We have a commissioner who's got a lot of powers. But what benefit has it got to Panjim citizens? Kai benefit na. Fuck the building a world, building a plan pass kelo. Ani kids are the main issue. 
ते आदली गाटरां गाटरां वॉज ऑफ माड जायते मोटे मोटे गाटरां वॉटर ते सिपे जाताले वयताले भितर वॉटर फाइंड्स इट्स ओन कोर्स आता ते जायते गाटरां जायते टेंपान जाल्ले हे केला कॉन्क्रीट केला सो देयर इज नो रिलीफ वेदर इट इज कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ सिटी ऑफ एनर्जी एक्ट और स्मार्ट सिटी ऑन थाउजंड क्रोज स्पेंडिंग देयर इज नो रिलीफ टू पेंजिम सिटीजन so pension citizens are have to face flooding every year and every year there is increase in flooding and surely this year there will be massive flooding because many gutters are filled with debris and many uh, other situations have arisen because of the smart city planning only have to time will tell how flooding will be faced so pension citizens if there is heavy rain please avoid going out especially senior citizen like us The Tiswadi Taluka Enforcement Squad conducted inspections at Miramar and Kampal to check for violations of the Cigarettes and Other Tobacco Products Act 2003. The enforcement squad booked 11 cases for violation of section 4 and 6A and recovered fines of 2200 rupees from restaurants, supermarkets, liquor shops, grocery stores and food kiosks. The Tiswadi Taluka Enforcement Squad conducted inspections at Miramar and Kampal in Panjim to check for violations of the Cigarette and Other Tobacco Product Act 2003. During the inspection, the squad found establishments operating outside the colleges at Miramar without the renewed FDA license and without the no smoking signage displayed as required under the COTPA. Moreover, the sale of cigarettes at supermarket was detected. The enforcement squad had decided to include in its report of the inspection that a meeting of all educational institutes functioning in Miramar be convened to strictly implement section 6 subsection B of the COTPA which prohibits the sale of tobacco products within the radius of 100 yards of any educational institutions. The report will be submitted to Dr. Shaheen Syed, member secretary to strict level coordination committee for further action in the matter. The squad was led by Kaushik B Desai to Swadi Taluka Mamladar accompanied by Roland Martins Goa Can coordinator Kishor Arundekar sanitary inspector of UHC Panjim Suhani Bosle tax inspector Rajesh Talati and police constable Airaj Mandrekar and Rajesh Lotrekar from the Panjim police station bureau report herald tv An accident occurred between two bikes in Fontaineage on Saturday evening According to eyewitnesses a tourist on a scooter allegedly disregarded the no entry sign and entered the restricted area resulting in a collision with a bike driven by an elderly individual the impact of the accident caused injuries to the elderly man requiring medical attention the police immediately arrived on the site an accident occurred between two bikes in Fontaineous Panjim on Saturday evening according to eyewitness a tourist on a scooter allegedly disregarded the no entry sign and entered the restricted area resulting in a collision with a bike driven by an elderly man the impact of the accident caused injuries to the elderly man requiring medical attention the police immediately arrived on site kid that accident and a train pulled on accident to je doya mukal accident dalo mte aa waslo thaychan okay te tourist no entrance in bitter ile ante bare fast ile no entry ha tourist ale सदांत वो जागो असो जाता हिंगा फोटो शूट जाता लोक त्रास जाता को एक्शन घेना हिंगा ट्रेफीक नो सिंबॉल आसन सुधा लोग नो एंट्रेंस चलते टूरिस्ट मिस्टेक ये करता मारून गुड़गो Seven Gaudi for Herald TV. On Saturday, residents caught a tanker driver in the act of discharging sewage water in an open area in Verna Industrial Estate near Lutoli. The tanker had travelled from Vasco to Lutoli, and when interrogated, the driver asserted that the vehicle was transporting bio waste as instructed by his employer. The police arrived on site and seized the tanker involved in dumping the waste. The truck owner and the driver have been summoned by the police. 
for interrogation. On Saturday, the residents of Lothney caught a tanker driver in the act of discharging sewage water in an open area at Lothney. The tanker had travelled from Vasco to Lothley and when interrogated, the driver asserted that the vehicle was transporting bio-waste as instructed by his employer. Ako gutter, Chani, Vasco San Humpede, Vasco, Vasco San Dinajani, Ako gutter of the Ansula, Amelotli. Pray to me. Biogas, Miti, Biogas, Biogas, one is Ako gutter of the Solapoi. It's a pay, Ako gutter. Ako gutter of the tanker, Hadun Sodun Yala. Oh, the tanker, pay. आपकी सेफ्टी खाड़ों खाली केल देनी बायोगैस में पाई कितने वेर केल दी पाई सगन गावड़ी फॉर हेरल टीवी The Goa State Disaster Management Authority has issued a high wave alert for the coastal areas of Goa, specifically from Kolam to Panjim, from 9th to the 11th of June 2023. The SDMA has urged the public to remain calm and not panic in response to this alert. As a precautionary measure, it is advised to refrain from using small vessels and suspend any leisure activity during the shoreline of this period. Sagungaudi for Herald TV. Goa experienced respite from the scorching heat as the long-awaited monsoons finally arrived in the state. The arrival of rain brought immense relief to the people who had been eagerly awaiting its arrival. Goa experienced respite from the scorching heat as a long-awaited monsoon finally arrived in the state. The arrival of rain brought immense relief to the people who had been eagerly awaiting its arrival. However, the rainfall caught many off guard on Friday evening as the monsoons were predicted to arrive after June 10th. Both the districts witnessed rain showers and in some areas, the rainfall was accompanied by lightning and thunder. Goa experienced respite from the scorching heat as a long-awaited monsoon finally arrived in the state. The arrival of the rain brought immense relief to the people who had been eagerly waiting for its arrival. However, the rainfall caught many off guard on Thursday evening as the monsoons were predicted to arrive after June 10th. Both the north and south districts of Goa witnessed rain showers and in some areas the rainfall was accompanied by lightning and thunder. Sagun Gaudi, Prasad Polji and Makpul Malgimani for Heron TV. Thanks for watching Herald TV News. For more news and alerts, please follow us on O Heraldo on Facebook and Twitter. Take care and keep watching Herald TV.